the Middle East Conflict Project. The Middle East Conflict is one of the most complicated issues in the world. The roots of the conflict started more than 2,000 years ago, when wars between Muslims, Christians, and Jews occurred over the state of Palestine, Palestine, which is nowadays Israel. However, most people today think of the conflict as one that started in 1948, on May 15th, when the Declaration of Independence of the State of Israel that led to an immediate war, including seven Arab countries attacking the small Jewish country of Israel. This war is called by the Jewish people of Israel the Independence War. The Jews celebrate the victory that gave them a bigger country with Jerusalem as its capital. This war is also called El Nakba by the Palestinians, which means the disaster that begin, began the Palestinian problem, a war that led to many Arab Palestinian villages to be destroyed by Israelis, and the beginning of refugee problem in the Palestinians that lost their home and were kicked out or left in the state of Israel. The conflict became even big, bigger after the next year of 1967, which once again ended with Israel occupying the West Bank from Jordan and Palestine, Sinai from Egypt, and the Golan Heights from Syria. The 1967 war led to many more Palestinian refugees. When Israel withdrew from the lands occupied from Egypt and Jordan, the war with those countries ended with peace treaties. So now, in the center of the conflict, there are three major issues. One is the Palestinian problem, which is based on three major issues. The refugees, the borders between Israel and New Palestine country, and the capital of Israel, Jerusalem, which the Palestinians desire to have as their capital. The second major issue is between Israel and Syria. The third issue is the one between Israel and Iran. And the only question is how do we solve this? How can we solve this Middle East conflict? How can we solve the Middle East conflict? Well, we can use three main lessons we learned from ancient Greens and ancient Rome to help to figure that out. We can take the idea of democracy from ancient Greece, the freedom of religion from ancient Rome, and the idea of learning from the past, which also took place in ancient Rome. First of all, democracy was one of the biggest aspects the Greeks had in ancient Greece. Democracy gave Greeks over the age of 20 years old the right to have a say in the government decision. Suddenly, Greek citizens felt that they can affect themselves and others. They finally felt that they actually have a say in what was going on in Greece, that time. They felt that they eventually have the power to change. The democratic system worked so well that all important decisions were made by citizens and the assembly and elections could take place every year. Democracy definitely made Greek citizens happy and helped Greece a lot as a nation. Now, the democratic system can also be very helpful in solving the conflict in the Middle East because people that live in democracy appreciate freedom and liberal values. They are looking for pr prosperity and a successful economy system. War will lead to the exact opposite. It is important to mention that in all Middle East countries, both Arab countries and Israel, the governments were not stable because of corruptions which led to social and political unrest. During the last year, Arab countries in the Middle East started to change from monarchy and dictatorships to the beginning of democracy. This can eventually be leading to the end of the conflict. Also, freedom of religion is another big lesson we learned which took place in ancient Rome. In the beginning of ancient Rome, the Roman religion was based on many gods. The Romans believed that those gods controlled their life so they spent a lot of time worshipping them. The Romans forced everybody to believe in their religion and persecuted Christians who believed in Christianity. This led to a lot of confusion for many citizens 
many Christians were very upset. In the last part of ancient Rome, they finally made Christianity legal. This made many citizens a lot happier and gave them the right of freedom of religion, which was obviously the key to solve the problem. Today, many people think that the conflict in the Middle East is actually nothing but a religious war between the Islam and Judaism. Those people will show how th throughout the history there were always religious wars in the Middle East, and especially over the land of Israel. Yes, Israel is considered to be the, on the holy land for all monothetic religions. Judaism, Christianity, and the Islam. In the past, it led the Christians to crusades, and now it is leading to the battle between the Jews and the Muslims. The biggest enemies to peace are the Muslim terrorists from one side, and the Jewish ideological right-wing right settlers on the other end. So if all sides can agree to have freedom of religion and open accessibility, for all religions, to all holy places that they care for, then there won't be any reason to have a war of controlling the land by only one side. And this is why freedom of religion can be another key to solve the Middle East conflict. Last but not least, one of the most uh, important lessons that we learned that can really solve the Middle East conflict is if we just learn from the past, if we learn from our mistakes. In ancient Rome, many people really learned from the past and did not repeat their mistakes. This really helped them to exist longer and to be a stronger nation. One example for learning from the past happened in ancient Rome when Augustus became the king of the nation. Augustus would not call himself a dictator, even though he basically was, just because he knew that Caesar got killed when he did so. In fact, some historians think that the if Augustus called himself as a dictator, he would end up killed, just like Caesar. We can solve the Middle East conflict by simply learning from the past, the past of the Middle East, and the past of the whole entire world. Let's start with the world. Wars had always led to suffering and damaging people and nations. That's why today most of the wars have been solved. In fact, the Palestinians are the only people that are still under occupation of another country. So the first lesson that we can learn from the past is that you cannot win a war. Even if you win, you actually also lose, lose. Because war will never solve any conflict and eventually, in some point, it will start again. This is also the clear lesson of the Middle East. In the past, there were many wars that led to many changes of power of the land of Israel. No power lasted for too long. Since 1948, there were six wars, and still the conflict has not been solved. And no one can say they claim a victory of either side. So this leads to the, to the understanding that the solution for the conflict can only be peace. We just have to learn from the past and learn from our mistakes in order to finally solve the conflict. In conclusion, the Middle East conflict is a very difficult problem to solve. However, it is possible to solve this problem. If we just use the three important lessons we learned from ancient Greece and ancient Rome, which are democracy, freedom of religion, and learning from the past, I'm sure that we can solve the Middle East conflict.